It's good, good season for you being back here with the team. Obviously, uh, you know this is not a fun day. It doesn't didn't end the way you guys wanted it to end. But uh, give us your thoughts on on being back with the team here this year and uh, back back with the Sting Race. Uh, yeah, I mean, from that standpoint, obviously it was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, it's it's home for me now. So being able to play at home and uh, you know had a lot of great memories from uh, first stint here and and. Uh, I felt like that continued, you know, it was a, a good regular season, great group of guys, um, you know, being around with, with my girlfriend, my son was around, you know, uh, that's obviously a lot of fun for me. And um, But like you said, you know, today uh, it's a little bittersweet, obviously a disappointing end, but uh, I mean, that's pro hockey, that's the challenge. Uh, you know, you have uh, tough games, uh, playoffs are tough. I mean, I've played 11 years and, and uh, you know, I've played in two finals in 11 years. So it's it's a challenge and, and that's why, you know, when you have success, it's it's a lot of fun because <laughs> because it's such a challenge. And, uh, you know, we found that out this year. So what's your off season like? Uh, I know at your age, you are trying to stay as active as possible. You're always <laughs> trying to do whatever you can do and uh, to stay to stay in shape as much as possible, but what what do you do during the season? Uh, where, where, are you are you at the Ice Palace? Are you trying to stay local? And, and what do you do during the off season? Uh, yeah, I mean, as I mentioned, uh, you know, it's home here now. So yeah, I usually take uh, you know a little bit of time, take a deep breath, digest everything, and and obviously get in the gym and and you know stay in physical shape, and then uh, you know skates. Uh, Sometimes I'll do the Monday night with with a lot of the ex Stingrays guys. It's a lot of fun, and then uh, ramp it up towards the beginning of the season. But uh, you know, we'll see. This summer is uh, you know I've got a couple months here to of uh, free time to to get things in order and uh, hopefully get a lot of flights in. I've been uh, you know spending quite a bit of time at Craft, and you know I'm actually heading over there in, in a couple minutes uh, do some more training and and uh, you know hopefully work my way through some of that. Uh, uh, with this time and uh, you know uh, really just take it uh, one day at a time and, and see what uh, falls into place for next year so yeah where are you at with craft uh, how's that going uh, and you know I know the weather hasn't always cooperated for you to get some flights in but where, where are you at in that process uh, how many hours have you accumulated there uh, yeah so I'm, I'm about 12 to 14 hours in something like that in, in the airplane and then uh, some ground school reading studying training all that kind of stuff uh, obviously a lot more time with that but uh, I've had some bad luck the last uh, month or so I haven't been able to get up a lot which uh, you know that's the nature of it and also thus you know being in playoffs and, and that kind of becomes uh, you know the focus a and um, so I'm uh, kind of approaching uh, the first solo, hopefully, uh, within a few hours. But uh, I got to knock some rust off, and um, uh, so I've got a ways to go. The minimum is 40 hours, but uh, you know that's a, a silver lining, I guess. I've got some some time now to uh, kind of go after that, and uh, uh, you know I'm excited about that. It's been a lot of fun so far. It's a, a great crew over there, and. Uh, you know, with the simulator, the planes, everything, it's, it's a lot of fun, so.